For the past several days, I've been trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about for the recovery summit. And every time I sat down to outline the points I wanted to make, I just, I, I couldn't do it. How can I talk to you about productivity ideologies or theorize about the future of work when we're seeing police brutality in cities across the world, a global pandemic with devastating death tolls, looming economic turbulence, and even more misinformation, disinformation, and fake news? I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. I'm overwhelmed by the information onslaught. I'm overloaded trying to manage the surreal reality we found ourselves in. And I'm overworked as I try my best to adapt my business in this intense and constantly changing situation. I know many of you are feeling this way too, otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on this keynote. And I'm glad you're here because I think we should talk about this. Everyone is so keen to talk about economic recovery, but we have to remember that we, as humans first, not employees or talent or cogs in the economic wheel, we have to recover too. If we're going to get through this, we're going to need ideas and innovations and solutions and strategy, and those require creativity. And creativity, well, creativity requires a state of energy and emotional well-being. To get to that state, we have to process what's been happening to us, the trauma, the grief, the anxiety, the exhaustion, all of it. And here's why. This emotional core, this is the engine that powers our creativity. And I know, I know everyone's in a rush to get to the recovery part, to skip to the end when this is all over, but we can't, not until we talk about what's happening in this moment. Because if we don't talk about what's happening right now, then we'll never truly recover regardless of what happens to the economy. Sometimes, as one of my favorite poets, the great Robert Frost wrote, the only way out is through. And I've been thinking, about recovery, especially in the context of knowledge workers. And I'm more convinced now than ever that as the lockdowns are easing and the economy is reopening, that we have to have this conversation because I'm seeing people going back out into the world with empty gas tanks, with empty energy reserves, exhausted and under tremendous pressure to innovate, create, find solutions, new technologies to make it all better and make it all better fast.